Welcome back to The Blend. It's designed to anticipate and accommodate everything you might need as you age. The Homestead Assisted Living in Boulder City offers delightfully spacious apartment homes for those interested in independent living. Here to give us a tour of what they have to offer is resident director Mike Fox. Also with us, Tanya VC, the admissions and marketing director. And Sasha, the standard poodle, I might add, is with us. She's a superstar. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Oh, well, we're thrilled to have you here. Um, let's start by talking about what is assisted living. Assisted living is just that. It's mm -hmm. just an assist. It's, um, it's a misnomer anymore because assisted living uh, used to be almost like a convalescent home. Right. But not anymore. We have very active seniors up into their 90s. Oh. Our average age at the homestead currently is 92. So we have a, a very active population and it is simply to assist. It's as simple as helping someone get their mail out of the mailbox or helping someone down to the dining room. It's whatever they need as far as an assist goes as independent as we possibly can keep them. Uh, and, and so many people prefer that, don't they? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Let's talk about your facility out in Boulder City. And um, speaking of activity and keeping active, let's talk about all the activity you have to offer. So we have several unique internal and external activities at the homestead of Boulder City. Um, from our men's club internally, we have mocktail hour in our beautiful atrium. <laughs> and then we participate in a lot of things outside because Boulder City is one of the top places to retire. So we is it really? It is. And so we participate with the Damn Short Film Festival, mm -hmm. and it's in the Historic Theater. And so we are not only involved as a company, but our residents do go there. And we mm -hmm. do a lot with the Senior Center in Boulder City as well. Well, and I love Boulder City. I spend a lot of time uh, there during the holidays, and it's just, it's a lovely place to walk. It's wonderful. Well. And, and you're located kind of in the center of Boulder City, aren't you, near we, the hospital? We are in the mm -hmm. center of old Boulder City, the yes. oldest part of Boulder City, and we are next door to the Boulder City Hospital, Neat. which is very uh, easy for us, and it's a wonderful uh, convenience if ever needed. The other thing we do is, uh, to branch out on what Tanya said, is we're very active in the Chamber of Commerce. We have a very active local Chamber of Commerce, and mm -hmm. Jill Lagan, the president, we participate in a lot of unusual activities that most senior homes wouldn't participate, i.e. the damn film festival. Uh, and it's wonderful for our seniors to get involved with that. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you know, on a, on a uh, technical angle, so are assisted living communities like yours regulated by the state? We are regulated by the state and we're okay. surveyed every year by the state and mm -hmm. we uh, have uh, many surveys throughout. So there is a level of service and a level of expectation that when someone comes into an assisted living, they can be assured that their loved one is being taken care of to the highest standards that the state allows. So. Excellent. Uh, and we should mention Come too, on, this is something very unique about your facility, that you Come are on. pet friendly. We are pet oh, friendly. Oh, wonderful. We have, we have had dogs and cats and birds and fish. Oh, we currently neat. have cats, no dogs, except for Sasha. And Sasha is uh, my dog, but she comes to work every day. You go to work. Well, you know, it's wonderful because as, as, as seniors transition, and, and perhaps they're ready to live in a community, but they don't want to give up something like their pet. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. We've actually had two people that made their decision to move to Boulder City, the homestead, because of Sasha. When they did the tour, mm -hmm. Sasha was there, and Aww. they missed their dogs and couldn't have their dogs. So. It was wonderful that Sasha got to spend time with them and they could make that decision. So. And we do have pet therapy every week. And, yes. And twice a year we do bring in the horses from the local corrals. So we do have pet therapy as well. Yes. Um, you know, getting back to, I think it, it, this whole conversation of assisted living and mm -hmm. active living is interesting. And, um, you know, how is assisted living, again, then different than a convalescent home? Because you're, you're still offering some medical care? We offer, we offer lots of medical care. Okay. Uh, the state, of course, we are regulated, so there's a level of care that we, once we reach, they do have to go to a skilled nursing facility. But uh, mm -hmm. we, and the state is actively pursuing, and through ALAC, which is a, a organization we belong to, which is the Assisted Living Aging Group uh, by the state. We're improving that medical care so that we can keep that person in assisted living before they have to go to a skilled nursing facility. So uh, we can take most all levels of care. It just depends on the severity of the situation. So. Yes, interesting. I love average age at your facility, 92. Yes. That's 92. fantastic. Uh, a special offer actually for folks out there listening this morning. Yes. Yes, there is a special offer. So if you give us a call at 702-294-8720, ask to speak with me. It is lunch on us and a free gift. 
Oh, well, why not? And you know, that gives folks a chance to come and try come the Come out to Boulder because City. Because it's very important. Yeah. And our dietary <laughs> manager, one of the things that we do focus on is fresh food. In fact, yes. we get all of our uh, local herbs from the lady in Diane who grows them in <gasps> Boulder City. I love so it. we cook fresh and we cook home style. So please come try the food. What do you think, Sasha? Is it good? Tanya, Mike, thank you so much. No, thank, thank you. you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. To learn more about the Homestead Assisted Living Apartments in Boulder City, call the number or visit the website right there on your screen. They are proud sponsors of the Morning Blend. And hey, with the new Interstate 11 Freeway underway, they'll be even closer to Henderson.